Get ready for an extraordinary experience as you tune into this inspiring sermon by Apostle Joshua Selman. The words you are about to hear carry the power to renew your spirit and ignite a fire of faith within you, guiding you to a new level of divine breakthrough. Out by power, but it will take wisdom to lose him and let him go. Is someone ready to pray? Jump up on your feet and cry unto the Lord. Reveal your glory in my life as the power of God and as the wisdom of God. Please go ahead and pray. Some like Lazarus would need to be called forth from one dimension to the other, from failure to victory from defeat to success but there are others who are already out but you need to know how to remove the grave clothes you need to know what to do go ahead and pray reveal yourself O oh god in the name of jesus christ reveal yourself Are you praying as the wisdom of God they know not neither will they understand they walk on in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course wisdom tells you what to do and it works closely with understanding that tells you how to do there is always something to do You are glorious, so glorious in your ways. You are glorious, so glorious in your ways. You are powerful, so powerful in your ways. You are powerful, so powerful in your ways. You are mighty, so mighty in your way. You are mighty, you're mighty in your way. Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. You are glorious, so glorious in your way. Yahweh, 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 you are glorious, so glorious in your way. You are glorious, so glorious in your way. You are mighty, you are mighty. I was very, very humbled. I always am broken when I hear of the sacrifices that people make for every service. From as early as 8, 9, 10, there were people already here. Some of you have been here since morning, inside, outside, everywhere, enduring. Some of you have not even eaten just to encounter the God of heaven. Do you really believe that God will keep you that long? Just to share the grace and go back. No. Hello, Madonna. Hello, Madonna. Hello, Madonna. Hello, Madonna. Madonna, hello, Madonna, hello, 
power of the Most High revealed in the midst of His people the wisdom and the grace of this God. Alana bakata prande gete talakusi, shali gete prende ge parastu se gete ge parapra takatusa te telahasi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to start tonight with the sick. I really want to minister to the sick. Listen, let me tell you this. The healing ministry is a very cardinal, cardinal validator of the gospel. The healing ministry. Remove the healing ministry from the gospel. Um, you have reduced its potency by a very serious degree. You read the Bible, everywhere the communication of the truth of the gospel, everywhere you find the message of the gospel or the communication of the doctrine, you find the healing ministry. Everywhere Jesus is revealed, you find the healing ministry. Please look up. Let me tell you something about the healing ministry. Why does God heal? For many reasons. One of them being that there is no human being who has been given the privilege of entering two bodies in a lifetime. As benevolent as God is, He can replace parts in the body. But we do not have any record of anyone who, le who left one whose spirit was extracted out of one body completely. Organs have been transplanted within the same organism. Everyone is given one body per lifetime. One body per lifetime. Satan knowing this. You don't receive forgiveness only once. You don't receive mercy only once. But this body, the moment you are born, that body remains with you. And if anything happens to that body, you have lost your chance of continuity as far as the earth is concerned are we together there is no record in scripture and there is no record as we know in history science has not come close to extracting a human spirit out of a body and transferring it into another body the only person who wanted to do that was satan himself when he was looking for the body of moses when moses died he wanted his body so that a demon could enter that body and he will create a a false moses and michael stopped him and said the lord that means this is not is not permitted the lord rebuke you listen to me bodies matter ask satan what he was looking for in a dead body the body of Moses. Moses had died. And Satan said, I am still interested in the body. So everything that afflicts you is ministering death in a measure to you. Satan's ultimate goal in sickness and affliction is to break help or help those under the anointing. To deteriorate your body. Now listen, I have taught you here that there is a threshold health condition for your spirit to live in your body. When your body is broken and deteriorated beyond that level, the spirit will no longer be able to stay. And the spirit will have to live in a process called death. Even in resurrection, the spirit still enters the same body. The only time bodies will change is when the king himself makes that decree. And this body will be changed from one that is corrupted to one incorruptible. This is what the Bible teaches us. But that until then, you have a responsibility to protect your body. We protect our bank accounts more than our bodies. We protect our cars. A vehicle that can have an accident and you can save and buy another one. But the one body, most of us are using more than one car, multiple cars. And you keep changing them even if nothing is wrong. You are just tired of that body of a car. You change another one. But when this body goes bad. So Satan knows this. 
Everywhere God will take you is this body that will take your spirit. So when Jesus heals, he's making a very serious statement. How does he heal? By correcting faulty conditions. Medical doctors will tell us that a man is as healthy as his organs, his tissues, and Satan would start afflicting those things one by one. We have all kinds of systems, biology and medicine teaches us. And most of us here, it's possible that you have one medical report or the other that is threatening you, an organ in your body, some kind of condition. I want you to believe. To heal means to introduce the power of God like a drug. Listen, you know, medicine really teaches us how healing works. When you pick a drug, say you have headache and you pick paracetamol or anything you don't have to tell the drug where to go to your job is to swallow it is that true when you swallow it whatever happens at that point is none of your business again the drugs goes to your body and you know that the drug is working by looking out for changes in your body there are some of you when you swallow some drugs you start sweating you feel sleepy there are certain drugs they say eat before taking it they, are, you know, they give all kinds of conditions but when that drug enters your body it begins to work the pharmacology of that drug has already been predetermined by those who those who have designed it yours is to swallow it and watch the wonder a tiny piece of whatever it is and you swallow and it begins to do all kinds of things and sometimes medicine has advanced now to encourage us when they want to market certain products they animate the way the drugs destroy those germs have you seen those kinds of things if they want to market soap they show children with germs on their faces and then they show the mother bathing the child and you watch what that soap the 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 you know the, what they call them now the active ingredients what it does to those germs that's the same way the anointing works when the anointing enters your body you don't have to say go to my head or go to my hand you're placing your hand there just as a point of contact for your own faith not to encourage the anointing the anointing knows what to do the anointing starts searching for what does not look like the garden of eden it goes to your head everything is fine it goes to your heart and finds out that the devil is trying to put a hole in your heart let me tell you what it does the same power that raised lazarus the same power that raised christ from the dead is administered to that body and listen there are times that certain bodily parts have been so deteriorated you will need a new one and a new one can come Lazarus had died for three days. We are all intelligent people. If you die for three days, there's something called embalmment. Is that true? And let me tell you, the way they used to embalm people those days, even if you are pretending you must die, if they embalm you that way, you, you saw how they tied the man. If you are acting and, and playing games and they are done embalming you, you must die. They cover everywhere from head to toe. So they, they, they cannot, you can't doubt that Lazarus died. And yet, you think that some of the organs had not packed up and failed? Blood was not flowing in that body. And yet when the master said, Lazarus, Kala Parusiata. The same way in the name of Jesus, we are going to be making decrees. Now, hear me. When the word of the Lord comes for your healing, you have two responsibilities. Number one. To believe in Jesus and to believe in the vessel that he's using. Number two, to take a step of faith. What is a step of faith? Actions of obedience. The Bible says, as they went. Not when they wanted to go. Go and show yourself to the priest. That was suicidal. If they ever appeared before the priest leprous, they would be banished forever. As they went. That means when the power of God comes, if you couldn't walk, you have to take a step of faith. Remember, Acts chapter 3. Silver and gold I do not have, but such as I have, give I unto you. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. The Bible says the man sat down and was watching, and he held his hand and lifted him, and he leaping stood. 
if you lay your hands and they pray and you're just watching you most likely may not receive anything you receive by faith and you begin to check yourself it's a condition that you need to run to the medical stand to ask them to check you oh I, I came with HIV and the word has come I need to go there to check my blood pressure for instance is whatever over, over whatever the most important thing is that report is not good I need it changed and once they pray you don't sit down and say I believe please check this for me you see let me tell you medicine and the supernatural were not designed to be enemies medicine confirms the supernatural that's why you don't fight doctors those who fight doctors to show that they are powerful are in ignorance doctors are symbols of God's mercy medicine if you are truly healed science will confirm it if you are healed of HIV or cancer or whatever it is um, it is the medical confirmation that validates to us that the power of God has really come but to believe that the power of God cannot correct bodily conditions is to insult the resurrection power I'm ready to pray for the sick now we had such profound phenomenal miracles in Joss um, yesterday particularly during the miracle service it was such a humbling move of the Spirit of God you can do well to watch the video for your own personal edification I believe that it should be on our Koinonia global page or so just watch it and learn it's not just to show that a man of God is powerful especially for those of you who are in ministry there's something about watching to see the power of God on display these are not some gimmicks that you're playing games no it's one thing to be healed at home and come and testify but it's another thing to testify real time are we together you can go to a shop for instance to buy popcorn the one they made two days old three days old but there are people who will leave that one and they want the one that is popping there is an experience people love freshness this is why it's good that you receive testimonies and come and testify but there's something about the power of god on display real time it proves to people here and now that jesus is still alive are you ready now in one minute i like you to declare that any sickness within your body that is not of god any planting it must live right now and if you are standing for someone i know there are people watching in hospitals there are people watching by sick beds i want you to believe take your eyes away from the infirmity and pray arthritis breathe upon any and all cardiovascular issues breathe upon weakness in body breathe upon eye conditions breathe upon ear conditions breathe upon reproductive issues breathe upon digestive issues Breathe upon respiratory issues. Breathe upon neurological issues. 
in the name of Jesus Christ now please hear me I am going to pray there are so many people outside and all the overflows and thousands more following from across the globe give Jesus a chance Christ is about to be revealed as the power of God I believe in miracles I truly believe in miracles and right now I want to pray for you now listen don't start calculating and asking how will it happen just like that Mary asked that question already how shall these things be seen that I know not a man he said the power of the highest so the power of the highest is about to overshadow you and listen listen how the Holy Spirit got to the womb of Mary leave that to the intelligence of God that is the same way his power he does not need to open you with a surgical knife he can get to your systems your organs and correct things what is your own assignment to believe in Jesus as the healer to believe in his servant as the vessel and to take steps of faith so when I pray for you I want you to believe whether or not I mention your case you must believe from the depth of your heart and I'm going to ask you to check yourself and do what you could not do the moment you check yourself I'll be giving you a chance for those who have been healed everywhere inside and outside the moment you find out that the power of God has touched you if and when I ask you to come out I want you to come out don't be afraid the moment you find out that you can do now what you could not do before believe in Jesus take your eyes away from the sickness I learned this from Benny Hinn he said in, in all his years of crusading around the globe he found out that people who were focused on their infirmities would hardly get healed and so worship helps us to focus on Jesus and you take your eyes away from the bodily condition and the moment you look at Jesus you are changed into that which you are seeing place your hand now as an act of faith everywhere you are trusting God for a miracle you can stand in for someone I see people following from across the globe some of you are lifting pictures of loved ones some of you are standing in for families remember there are whole families with all kinds of conditions give Jesus a chance just help those under the anointing I'm about to pray right now and I'm praying in the name of Jesus so you can trust answers to this prayer lay your hands everywhere if it's your head lay your hands on your head if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest and if you're fine and whole and there's nothing wrong with you you can stand in for someone absolutely the centurion stood in for his child Majesty, just keep your hand there. Your Majesty, Your grace has found me just as I am, empty-handed, but alive in Your hand. Your Majesty, Majesty, forever I am changed by Your love. In the presence of Your Majesty, keep those hands there now. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. The healing power of Jesus is flowing. You're a faithful God. Awesome is your name. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. Shabala sabrandege baratush kalibra hasia. One more time. 
Now in the name of Jesus Christ who is the son of the living God the one exalted today as Lord and Christ I rebuke the root cause of every infirmity I rebuke the root cause of every disease I rebuke the root cause of every plague in the name of Jesus Christ every spirit help those under the anointing every spirit of infirmity every devil behind medical conditions blindness deafness dumbness blood conditions allergies in the name of jesus and by the power that raised christ from the dead i banish you from these bodies right now in jesus name now I decree and declare in the name of Jesus be healed now 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 from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet I bring you the life and power of Jesus be made whole right now in Jesus name every blind eye partial blindness or complete blindness you could not see well in the name of Jesus I command begin to see now every deaf ear your left ear or your right ear I declare the ears open right now in Jesus name every kind of allergy every kind of allergy around your body your skin i declare by the power that raised christ be healed now every growth in your body any part of your body at all i decree and declare be healed now the lord is ministering to me my god i'm hearing help that gentleman i'm hearing the word colon cancer colon cancer be healed right now in the name of jesus christ and i'm seeing someone follow this meeting you are following from federal medical center here in abuja the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ the lord is healing someone of severe bleeding in the gum you have severe bleeding your gum the moment you go to brush you just find out that blood starts gushing out right now the power help them please the power of god is touching you in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ back pain the lord is healing back pain in the name of jesus everyone on wheelchair everyone on crutches using any kind of aid life to your limbs right now i declare begin to walk in the name of jesus everyone plagued by stroke partial paralysis and stroke probably they carried you in here in the name of jesus life to your body rise up and walk right now in the name of jesus christ there's someone you i don't know if is that you lost your sense of smell or you can't smell completely in the name of jesus let that sense be restored now i've seen god minister this case before that he's showing me you are you are a young lady you are not pregnant yet you are lactating you are producing breast milk in the name of jesus the power of god is coming upon you right now and i declare be healed right now in the name of jesus christ be healed right now the lord is healing a condition i'm seeing a vision and i'm seeing pid this is what i'm seeing it whatever that means in the name of jesus i decree and declare be healed right now be healed right now 
be healed right now now the lord is showing me a very interesting condition here there is a woman i'm not a doctor um and, and of course it's not everything we say here there are people with different from different um, age ranges and all of that and then we're on air but there is something in your system that does not allow the seed to get to you to be pregnant I see that that seed dies even before it gets there because of a, a condition that you have. Right now, the power of God, I don't know where that person is. Right now, the power of God is touching you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You can see the testimony of our dear sister who came here. 22 months of carrying a child. 22 months anything in your body that is not the planting of the Lord I flush it out right now now listen we are still praying it is it is still I'm still ministering healing but I'm seeing the power of God moving away I'm seeing at least this is at least 21 people from what I'm seeing there are objects that move physically you feel it in your body it begins to move sometimes from your leg down to various parts of your body this is not like you are dreaming physically you feel things moving the power of god is coming upon you right now at least 21 people be healed in the name of jesus There is a gentleman here you came here as a stammerer you will marvel and wonder right now that stammering stops now that stammering stops now now i don't know i'm seeing someone i don't know if he's in this you know this vicinity but you have like a tumor in your brain a tumor that means something is growing that is, is a tumor like it's, it's cancerous in your brain I don't know if you are following online but in the name of Jesus I want you to release your faith I bring you life be healed now be healed now I'm seeing someone in the overflow outside the overflow outside you're beginning to have symptoms it's like urinary problems but it's not really a urinary, urinary problem from what god is revealing to me this is the early stage of prostrate prostrates that prostrate cancer like it happens to men this is what god is telling me outside in the name of jesus be healed now be healed now be healed now I'm seeing a woman that takes in you get you actually get pregnant but it never crosses the third month by the third month a spirit comes to you you will have a dream and see either a human being or an animal chasing you or you will see yourself bleeding and you wake up physically bleeding help them please in the name of Jesus Christ I command that devil to let you go now in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing a man you go to ease yourself and you're urinating blood I don't know what that condition is but you're urinating blood in the name of Jesus right now as I'm praying for you may the power of God touch you now there's someone you've been feeling something on your throat is as if um, you know how you swallow something and it does not go down and it remains there it's been stuck for a long time in fact you are considering going to go and see the doctor so that they will check it maybe it's something that they need to take away right now as i'm praying the power of god is touching you in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing at least two people with this condition my god the lord is really healing i'm seeing several cases i'm seeing you wake up in the night and sit just sit on your bed you don't sleep for more than three hours no matter how long there is a spirit you can't once you wake up you can't go back to sleep again this thing has deteriorated your health i don't know who that person is in the name of jesus be healed now that person is at the back the back of this auditorium this is what i'm saying 
that whoever that person is there is a spirit you are at the back of this auditorium may the lord bring you healing now in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing someone my goodness whatever you eat you have to throw it out uh, throw it up like you know how children eat and 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 throw up there's someone like that you are unable in fact you are being concerned that you are losing weight it's not like you are you are losing weight because you eat and then you just feel like you need to throw up something and you throw up what you have eaten it's a demonic condition in the name of jesus be healed now be healed now i'm seeing a lady this thing has brought shame for you a part you had a dream and from that dream it's like they shaved you know how you go to the barber saloon and they shave part of your is it your head or something like that there's someone you had that and from that time your hair does not grow again this is a very very demonic thing right now whoever you are fire is coming on that person now nose bleeding there's this thing they call nose bleeding that you just stand i'm seeing a gentleman you even wake up in the morning sometimes and you see blood your nose is bleeding you've gone to the hospital they treated you they gave you drugs but it seems like it's not gone right now the power of god is touching you be healed in the name of jesus christ be healed in the name of jesus christ now i'm seeing someone your 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 tie is it a surgery it's like they had a surgery and uh, of course respectfully speaking i don't know if it's that it was not done well but it looks like something is still broken there i'm seeing like the bone the bone here is still broken you are still feeling the pain it's not like you cannot walk but there is something broken there i declare healing right now now whether i mention your case or not be healed in jesus name be healed in Jesus name we change medical conditions right now in the mighty and marvelous name of Jesus be healed in Jesus name hallelujah now there is a woman sorry to have to describe the condition I'm seeing that your left breast started growing mysteriously like something is it looks like a lump or some you notice it you are at the back this is a demonic thing you have not shared this thing with anybody i'm seeing this is a demonic thing it looks like a lump but if we don't pray against it they will tell you that you need to go for surgery because i'm seeing that this the devil wants to put cancer in your body we cause that spirit now hallelujah hmm. i'm watching a vision right now and i'm seeing someone pick like a cup of water to drink but that cup of water you see it was not ordinary water from the day you drank it something started happening to your teeth it's like you are losing your teeth one by one you've extracted some now and it looks like it's, it's like it's rotting i don't know it's, it's a condition you are feeling is literally it's as if you can pull out your teeth i don't know who that person is by the power that raised christ from the dead be healed now now any health pattern running through families whether hepatitis my god whether hiv headache i'm going to mention a condition right now and when i mention that condition the power of god will start coming on a few people please don't be embarrassed this is a family i'm seeing symptoms of what we call obesity you don't have to be fat you are carrying that thing within you the power of god is setting you free right now in the name of jesus christ inside outside this is at least seven people is obey you know what obesity is that you you begin to get uh, you know ridiculously fat without controlling it whether you eat or not in the name of jesus 
I rebuke that demonic thing from your blood. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. There's a lady right now as I'm speaking to you. You came here with terrible abdominal pain. Like abdominal pain, it looks like there's fire all around your stomach. You're going to feel that thing one more time and then it leaves. You will never feel it again. I bring you healing right now. In Jesus' name. Now I believe that several miracles have happened here, not just the ones that I, 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 you know, I declared by the word of knowledge. There are several people who have been healed. This is what I want you to do. We're going to hurry up. I'm going to ask you to check yourself and the moment you check yourself, already miracles are happening. I will ask you to quickly, please those who are outside all of the overflows and then those who are following online, you can send in your testimonies all across the world. Let us know what the Lord is doing for you right now there are people within this auditorium and there are people outside this uh, place the overflows even across the road the power of God has touched you check yourself I want you to make your way very quickly and come and stand here let's have a few testimonies very quickly let's celebrate them as they come celebrate them very quickly as they come hallelujah now while they are coming are you seeing the Lord touching people koinonia is this the best you can do Please open the doors for those who are coming from several overflows. Let them make their way to the front. In the name of Jesus Christ. Once you are seated, in the next one or two minutes, I want you to pray in the spirit and declare that the spirit of poverty and lack over my life. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Break it right now by prayer. Lift your voice and pray. Once you are seated everywhere, those who have been healed, make your way to the front. Make your way to the front in the name of Jesus while we are praying. Check yourself outside. Any and all miracles. Check yourself all the overflows. Do what you couldn't do before. You need to go to the medical stand to check yourself. Do so very quickly. Do so very quickly. Jesus is healing. Jesus is healing. You could not move your body. Move your body right now. You couldn't see far, try to look far right now. Please make sure you direct those who are coming from outside. If you need to open the doors for them, let's know so that we have them here quickly. Those who are healed and coming from outside, check yourself in the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead. You are rebuking the spirit that is behind poverty. You are rebuking the spirit that is back of poverty. There are principles but there are spirits. It is God's desire to prosper you. Keep coming. Keep coming in the name of Jesus. Miracles are happening by the spirit. Healings are happening by the Spirit. Miracles are happening. The Lord is also showing me a woman. You gave birth and since you put to bed, your body has not been normal. Something happened to you and it looks like you've been sick having like fever again and again and again long after you are done giving birth the power of god is also touching you right now and is bringing you healing he's bringing you life in the name of jesus if you are coming to share your testimony make your way to the front very quickly usher's protocol let's direct them very quickly so that we save time awesome god how great thou art, you alone, mighty are your miracle, I stand in awe of your holy, and Lord we pass and worship, awesome God.
Balaka Sapranda Gavaruska de la Kosia Sapraska di Balasta da Bradaga da Balakusia. Some of them can move here. They're so small. Hallelujah. Sir, this man wearing white, please can you stand? Don't be embarrassed. Can you place your hand on your neck? I want to pray for you. I don't know what is there, but the Lord is asking me to rebuke it. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands towards you. And I decree and declare, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, may the anointing of the Spirit bring you life right now. And bring you healing. I command a release for you right now. In Jesus name I pray Hallelujah Now just hold on before we start taking the testimonies Please sit if you can Please sit if you can Just just Bring everybody out now who begins to shout under the anointing, whether inside or outside. I'm seeing angelic activities. The Lord is bringing an end to very strange, mysterious occurrences. Bring them. Everywhere, all over the overflows. There's something mysterious God is removing from lives and families. Bring them out. We're talking about the power of Jesus here. Bring them out. You can't stand it. It's not. It, this, this is a word from God. God is separating you. He's bringing something out. You will be surprised at the testimonies that come by this. Remember, Christ is revealed as the power of God. There are still more people. I saw so many people in my visions. That anointing is coming on you. All over the overflow outside. Literally, an anointing will lift you from your seat. Literally. Let the end come now. In the name of Jesus, let the end come now. Captivity always has an end. Let the end come now. Around the balconies, I'm seeing angelic activities. Around the balconies, in the name of Jesus, let the end come now. Let the end come now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let the end come. You, you can't stand. This is the power of God. Come. Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. Who can stand against our King? No one can. No one will. Oh. Just the patient will take the testimonies, but God is doing something here right now. I'm looking at 14 people, 14 people. I'm looking at you in the spirit, but I'm not seeing a face. I'm seeing you covered. You know how you want to shoot a criminal and you wear something on their face like a hood. The Lord is lifting that hood right now. That is the garment of shame. 14 people, the power of God is coming on you now. 14 people, 
the garment of shame the garment of shame parakotos ketepata we tear off that garment now from your destiny tear off that garment from your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ That lady, the third row, first, second, third. I command that spirit to let you go now. In the name of Jesus, the third row in front. I rebuke that devil. Let her go now. Now, in the name of Jesus, release her. I'm seeing that lady tied with what looks like snakes. Let her go now. Who is Chinedu? I'm hearing a name Chinedu. Who is that? Chinedu. Now, the overflow outside. I want you to prepare. I want to pray a prayer for you. Something is going to happen outside. The overflow outside. Who is Chinedu? Where are you from, my friend? State. I'm no, from it. this man. State. Huh? Abia State. Abia State. Yes. I want to pray for you. Do you believe that God is going to use you yes. as an instrument of deliverance? Yes. Don't just move the people. There's a reason why I ask them to come out. Yes. Ushers, don't just move them out. I'll pray for them. When I ask them to come out, is to pray for them. Huh? Yes, sir. You believe that God will leave them? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This deity, huh? Yes, that was worshipped. Yes. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, did yes. Did they tell you about it? Yes. What yes. did they tell you about the deity? That there is a deity that was worshipped. Yes. I want to pray for you. Huh? Yes. Because I see you, you are a sincere man. But if I don't help you, you are rising and going down. You are rising. No, no, give him the mic. And you are going down. I want to pray for you. There's nothing to cry about, my friend. Please look up so that we'll save time. Don't be afraid. In the name of Jesus, Father, I pray right now. I use him as a point of contact. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? I'm praying for someone, but the anointing is leaving me and is touching someone else. The person the anointing is touching is an usher. You are an usher yourself. You are walking. But the power of God is touching you because God is bringing liberty for you. This person that the power of God is touching is an usher. Why are they here? Chine, do all of you? I will pray with you. There's one of you here when I make the altar call, run and come and stand to Jesus. Run when it's time for the altar call because you need to make your ways very seriously right with Jesus. Hallelujah. My friend, in the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God, I command that spirit, anything that has to do with ancestral worship that is haunting you back, Paraka Shobratige Baratuzia, ancestral worship, ancestral worship, ancestral worship, worship of deity. There are some of you here, you even see these deities appear to you. Right now, I command. By the power of the Holy Ghost, let them go now. Release their names. Every name submitted in any shrine, submitted before any altar for your destruction. I declare be free now. Help that man. Be free now. I set that shrine and that altar on fire. On fire. Let them go now. Let them go now. Hallelujah. And for all of you who are here in the name of Jesus, the power of God is coming on one of you right now. One of you, the Chinedus. I don't know who, but I just saw an anointing coming on you. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, God is taking something out of your body. I declare, be free right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, please hear me. Don't feel bad and don't be embarrassed. This is a miracle service. There is someone... 
is it your father or your grandfather was directly a priest like like a um um what they call them now who is that person i want to pray for you something is happening here directly i don't mean maybe directly your father a priest a happen like a i don't want to use a, a word that may be dishonoring but you know what i'm talking about a practitioner of witchcraft directly your biological father come and stand here your name is to be alone Adonai. Your name is to be worshipped. Your name is to be hallowed. Hallelujah. Now, please don't listen carefully. Don't misunderstand me. We are not saying you are evil people, and we are not saying your parents. They, they. I'm sure that many of them just got into certain practices. Listen, there is one of you here. Don't feel bad. I'm going to pray for you. What your father or your grandfather has done has killed a lot of people, and the causes of so many people are on that family. Listen to me, what I'm telling you Because, I, well, I don't know now It's difficult to, I'm I have to just obey what God is telling me Please don't come out carelessly I'm not saying if there's witchcraft in your family We're all from Africa I mean if your father directly Was involved in this No, no, if they, if they are there, let them I will pray for them But one of you, I'm sorry to use that expression Your father is a herbalist He has been responsible for the death of many people including a man of God and there have been there have been causes and yokes to destroy that family we have to pray again this is a family of love I hope you understand what I'm doing and please we are not doing this so that you point fingers and condemn people remember that the anointing comes Jesus has given us the ministry of reconciliation because there are some of you here you will think it's a joke the, the ill speaking of people as a result of diabolic things do you know that every herbalist has children and when you say oh god destroy those who have caused me pain what do you think you are saying hallelujah young lady my dear look at me this fair lady where are you from Where? Huh? Christ ever. Ah, Jesus Christ. Out of her now. In the name of Jesus. Ah. My goodness, my God. You see, let me tell you this. Please hold on. Um, you know, when I teach, it's good to listen to me, listen to everything I'm saying. And I'm also bringing this word of love and caution to those who put messages. Make sure that when you are putting these things, you put everything we say. Don't just cut part of it that suits you and then use it to misrepresent people. There are two families here, married couple. This is the real cause of the problem in your marriage. The cause that has come as a... It, it's alright, my friend. What is it? You're a herbalist? My father is a sorcerer. Huh? Your, my father. No, no, don't worry. Don't feel bad. Eh? Where are you coming from? I'm from Edo. I Don't worry, I'll pray with you. Parents, let's repent and serve Jesus. You see, all this trouble that people, parents, I mean fathers, grandfathers, and you, if you are coming from a family of idol worship, don't let idol worship come out of you. Be that bridge. Are we together? Look how many people are here. All of these people will be married. Some are married. What do you think will happen to that home? Some are in business. This is why you can invite somebody and say, Come, let's do business together. You just thought that you are inviting just a body. But you may not know you are inviting altars. And every time believers pray and say, God, punish evildoers. What do you think will happen? That's why it takes the ministry of the blood. We just finished a ministry on deliverance. This particular lady I just prayed for from Cross River. I need to pray because there is something terrible. In this family 
one of you here your father has to, is it your father or from your lineage you are supposed to literally take over the priesthood who is that person directly oh, and they have been calling you as you are now come come and stand here let god help you i don't mean a vision no oh. they've told directly they are calling you now that you should come and take it ah. lord of heaven don't listen listen please let's let's be orderly here this is the house of god let them come forward where are you from my friend huh emo state sir emo state yes sir i want to pray for you you see my friends when jesus comes he truly can set free this gentleman now they are calling him do you know what happens when you reject that call if you do not know jesus christ and you don't have spiritual intelligence you will not have a life again that altar will tear anything if you are married sorry for your wife and your children if they are not grounded with understanding look at this fine young man but these wicked altars this guy probably went to school and yet the altars don't care my friend look at me do you believe in jesus christ yes, i do yes sir is it your father my grandfather sir your grandfather yes sir. he's still alive no he's gone he's gone yes sir. and you are supposed to take over yes from my maternal home from your maternal home yes how about you my friend my grandfather and when he died his picture disappeared so i was told that i'm the uh, my auntie the other uh, uh, father my elder uh, father called me that i should come to the home before she died that i should come there's a message for me i'm the one that's supposed to be in the shoe you are the one who is supposed to be yes home. but god has called me as a pastor that's all right how about you mine it was my grandfather my father was the only son so when he died my father was supposed to take over but my father refused became a pastor and was frustrated now i am the only son of my father you know that was my father took over i'm the one that's supposed to take over from him both of us are in ministry and frustrated you and your father are both in ministry yes sir oh dear currently my father two legs is currently swollen up down to his private part very terrible situation pass me with life right now you see what i'm saying i hope i'm not getting you to be afraid but i'm just telling you that when god puts a miracle service like this believe me you don't want to know what people are going through my friend this man this one lifting his hand yes there is a serious prayer i need to pray for you talk to me sir i was told that my father has a call of god upon his life but he chose it the wrong way and since i was growing up i was told that i am going to take the place of my father now he is late sir. where is your father he's late now listen sir. to me don't feel bad mistakes were made it's a wrong group that led him i will not say more than that but he was involved in things he should not do do you understand and there was something that went wrong and he paid for it but every deity alive or dead every priesthood behind any altar that is troubling your life manipulating the happenings in your life because they are trying to call you back in the name of jesus christ i decree right now let fire fall now Help them. Let fire fall now. Let fire fall now. Every occultic initiation, they took you somewhere and initiated you into all kinds of demonic practices. I declare be delivered now. hear me and for all of you who have been threatened to come home and take on certain priesthoods in the name of jesus any altar that will not let you go i stand right now as a servant of the lord jesus christ you see there are two sides to god there is lion and lamb it depends on which one you choose to see in the name of jesus every altar alongside the priest behind it i command the earth to open and swallow them i command the earth to open and swallow them swallow them swallow them in the name of jesus
Hallelujah. Therefore, I declare all of you who are out here, I declare you free by the Spirit of God. Go and prosper. In Jesus' name. You see, let me give you an advice. If you are coming from a family of intense witchcraft and priesthood, don't be lukewarm in your Christianity. You either choose to be deep into this thing or to be very serious with God. If you come out and you just stand at the corridors of salvation, these altars will tear you. You hear what this my, my dear friend is saying? Your father is now paralyzed. Huh? His two legs are having a problem. Completely. Completely, the two legs. Are... And he's a pastor. Yes, sir. Where is he? In Kogi, sir. In Kogi? Yes, sir. Where are you from? Kogi, sir. I'm an Igala. Do you know you have a prophetic call? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. You do ministry with integrity, eh? Thanks, and the Lord will help you. Amen. There are many things you need to know, but then God will help you. Amen. Listen and learn and grow. Amen. Father, use him mightily. Amen. The Lord will use you to bring an end to these demonic patterns. Amen. Hallelujah. There is a place called Aimba. Do you know that? I'm seeing the power of God rest on people right now who are from that region. Listen, listen carefully. I just saw fire and I saw that name. Everyone who comes from that region, if there is any altar that is holding you down, I, I'm not asking you to come out. You can just remain there for sake of time. Listen, I'm praying now. Help them. In the name of Jesus Christ, I don't care what covenant connects you to all of those things by the blood of the eternal covenant be free now in Jesus name those who came out for that call whether you are standing at the aisles go back rejoicing in Jesus name go back rejoicing in Jesus name hallelujah now there is someone this is strange there's someone the Lord is asking me to pray for you you deal in spare parts that's what you do but i need i don't know why god will ask me to single you out and call you and pray for you is there someone like that i don't mean you are just you are this is what you do i want to pray for you because the salvation of many people is connected to you when you find that person please let me let me have that person we're about to pray let's take a few testimonies to glorify jesus who is ready who is this one? Why is he here? You are healed? Spare part. Where? In our person. In the name of Jesus Christ. You too? Okay, so join him. Let me just pray for you. Even though in my vision, this, these are not the people I'm seeing, but then I will still pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, help these people. It may look like what they are doing is small. But I prophesy to you that though your beginning be small, your latter end will greatly increase. May the Lord prosper you. And He's prospering you not just for your sake. He's prospering you for the sake of your loved ones. Because you need to be there for them. He's raising you as a Savior. May He honor you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. Okay, very quickly, let's have the testimonies. Yes, sir. Um, so Apostle, she came in here with very severe pains in her throat. She was Pain in your throat? Yes, sir. How many years, my dear? Sir, I, I normally have a sore throat. Okay. So when this pain started, it started last night. I was so scared that it could yes. be the sore throat. Yes. I took hot water. It did not stop. Today, as I was even sitting down there, I was having the pain. It was so serious. But as you were preaching, as you were praying for us, you, you, you mentioned of... The, of throat pain yes. and the pain and the pain completely gone. I can swallow throat like uh, spit now. In no the pain name again. of Jesus Christ, I Amen. decree and declare Amen. it never returns to you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, please. Then, sir, we have two fantastic testimonies again. Yes, please. You spoke about people that you know had been stammering and okay. stenuously healed. So I've been stammering for like 20 years. So it's been very difficult to talk. So stammering. Yes. You are yes, sure sir. of that? Yes, sir. Who knows him? I have a classmate. You have a what? We have, we have someone there. Who knows him as a witness? Tell us. 
We've been friends from secondary school. You've right? been friends from secondary school. Yes, He's sir. been a stammerer. Yes, sir. Right now. Yes, sir. Even when we came this morning. Even when you came. Yes, sir. And right now. Yes, sir. Repeat after me. For God so loved the world. For God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son. That he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believes in him. That whosoever believes in him. Should not perish. Should not perish. But have eternal life. But have eternal Come on, life. Give Jesus praise. Look at this. Look at this. In the name of Jesus, my friend, it will never return to you. And, and for this good friend for coming to encourage him in the name of Jesus may good things look for you in the name of Jesus Christ yes please let me hear the testimony of Jesus all right sir so it's similar case Praise God. boy how are you I'm fine sir what is your name Alvin. Alvin what happened to him who brought him Sir, he, he actually was healed from stammering too. Oh, you were healed from stammering. I was wondering why the boy was there. Okay, say Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Say Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. Oh my God, look at this. Oh, the boy is crying. Stretch your hands towards this boy. Let's ask the Lord to use him. These are the kinds of things we want. When this boy becomes a preacher, he will remember. His stammering and the healing alone can be a message for the lifetime of the ministry. Don't despise him. When you see an adult, you have seen what he will become. But when you see a little boy like this, pray for him. Father, use this boy mightily. It's been our prayer for many years that Koinonia children will become mighty battle axes in the hands of God. And it is still our prayer. May the Lord use you mightily. In Jesus' name. Let's celebrate him. God bless you. Yes, please. Apostle, you gave word of knowledge of those who have surgery done in their time, not properly done. This lady came. The surgery was done 15 years ago. Let, let us speak. Um, the surgery was done. It was from an accident. You had an accident. Yes. How long? 15 years ago. And what happened? Um, femoral fracture. Uh -huh. So it happened that the bone didn't join properly. So um, one inch, one leg is longer than one by one inch. I'm not able to stand on the other leg. And lately it has been paining me. So I went to do S3. Okay. So said, you couldn't to... stand on the other leg. Yes, and severe pain. Okay. Lately. And right now, there's no pain at all. Completely. Which of the legs? This right. Match with it. Let me see. I've been on it for oh, you've been standing on it. Look yes. at her. She couldn't stand on it. She came there with the pain. Today. You came in with the pain. Yes, sir. Walk. But now she's healed. Any pain? Any pain? The same case for our brother here yes. four years ago. What happened to you? Four years ago. Sir, four years ago, I have an accident. One hour, I'm working in Philly Station. So all of a sudden, I was treated by all those traditional medicine. I have been seated for more than one year on the floor, receiving my treatment. So look at the evidence. The leg is not even set because of the injury on my leg. So it used to itch me sometimes. The leg used to hold me. Wherever I'm even praying, I can't even do this on my own. But after the prophecy, I cheat to the prophecy. All of a sudden, as you declare, yes. instantly the pain just went off. Hallelujah. Stand up, my friend. Stand up. Please come. That's not why you came out. Listen to me. I want to pray for you. You see, the association you are part of determines what happens to you. You are a great man. But it's, it's not for me to speak. I'm on air. But something has been done to you. You are loyal and obedient to a grace and anointing that you served. And they did many things in a bit to open your eyes prophetically. This is a demonic thing. You need to be delivered now. I stretch my hands. I release you from that spirit. Out of him now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It is true you are really called to be a prophet. But not by this thing. You see, if God does not open your eyes... Your eyes cannot be open. All these things, I'm, I'm, not being, I'm not being sarcastic, but all these things, they, they drag you to the river and all of this. There is a scriptural way to obtain grace. 
And we have to be careful because we may be sincere people. But let's be careful. When you, you are only safe when you walk within the zone of scripture. This person is not a bad person. Are we together now? And I'm not maybe condemning or talking about any ministry but we have to be careful in the name of jesus again i set you free this spirit that appears to you let him go now in the name of jesus christ and there is there is a wicked pattern southern kaduna god is going to use you as a mighty vessel I'm releasing this grace on you mighty vessel there are people within that region that God will use you to bring supernatural deliverance to receive that grace right now in the name of Jesus Christ let's give Jesus praise you gave word of knowledge for those who bleeding gum she has had the challenge for four years for bleeding, those who bleeding and swollen gums she has, she has gone to the confidence use her tongues it's no longer bleeding bleeding what gum Oh, for how long? For over four years now, sir. And right now, it's gone, like gone it's completely. Gone. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again. Yes, please. Very Short quickly. sightedness from bed. Healed from bed. bed. From bed. Now she can. What couldn't you see? Like um, colors. Colors. And then letters. It's really hard. But while we were preaching, I felt heat all over my face, so I had to sit down. And then when I got up, everywhere was beautiful. Everywhere was beautiful. And if our God is for us, then what could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what could In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Pastor Jakes, you ready? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very ready, sir. Um, please come. So, similar experiences we've been having. We've been having twin twin miracles, apostles. So, let's just take them. Yes. Praise God. I had this breast pain for over a year and while you were speaking before the prayer started, the, the pain vanished. Completely gone. Yes, sir. How about you, my dear? Praise the Lord. I had a dream that a dog wanted to suck my breast and I refused. Immediately I woke what up kind from of the it? dream. You, you see how my this right breast dreams are? You, hold on, please. There's a lesson there. You can see anything that is not consistent with scripture. I have taught you. When you get up, don't just record it and leave it there. You rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Every dream is a seed. By the principle of biology, a seed are you understanding not not meeting you have to receive the seed for fertilization to happen so that dream is a seed you can receive it through fear and it will start growing and manifest or you can reject it barrenness is a condition where the woman's body can reject the seed of a man that means you have the power to reject certain seeds like this kind of demonic seed so you have a dream that a dog was trying to suck your breast. Okay. I refuse in the dream. So when I wake up immediately. You know those I the Bible call it. dogs? You see that? Yes. So I noticed I fasted and I prayed about it. After what some happened time, now? I started feeling the pain three days ago. I went to the hospital for checkup yesterday. Yes. They perpetrated my breast. There is not no seed and not nothing. Today when I came to the side, the breast was paining me. So I touched it. I'm not feeling any pain again. It's gone completely. Let's give Jesus praise. In the name of Jesus, for both of you, I decree and declare that the workings of darkness will never prevail over your life. In Jesus' name I pray. Yes, sir. Apostle, you gave word of knowledge of those with movement in their body. Now she had an encounter 10 years ago that she swallowed something in the dream. And since then, it's not. Uh, 10 years ago, Straight I had to the dream. point, madam. Yes. Yeah, I swallowed a serpent. You and swallowed? A serpent, a snake. In a dream? Yes, sir. Okay. So ever since I've been having hot flushes and then things crawling on my body, while we were given the word of knowledge, I fell under the anointing, so I had to come out. Even while we we're saying something about altars, I fell again under the anointing, yeah, like twice. Remember what I taught? Christ revealed as the power of God to destroy those things. Your body is not a zoo that snakes move up and down. So anything you swallowed, I'm praying for you again, that anything you have swallowed that is of the devil i command it to leave you now now in the name of jesus christ he will never return to you again let's give jesus praise next please very quickly i'm only here the same thing since 2009 
Something that has been moving in What happened body. to Mama? Let us speak very quickly. Yeah. Since 2009, I had a dream and someone scraped my, the middle of my hair and since then it doesn't grow. And Your hair does Oh, the, the woman I was talking about. Yeah. Oh my God. So again, uh, any, any time that I eat, it seems as if the food doesn't go down well. And again, another thing, I used to feel a uh, moving object in my body. And everything, the Lord has stepped in. Yes. Mama, I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus. None of these things will return to you again. Yes. By the power of the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. One more, yes. Scrap here, 13 years ago. 13 yes. years, great. Yes. Let us speak, ma. So, I was sleeping and I dreamt and in the dream, uh, they shaved my head. Now, are you, no are you noticing these patterns? Remember the prayer we prayed last week that your dreams be supernaturally sanctified. Your dream should not be a point of initiation. And in case you were not there last week, I prayed this prayer for you. Or you were here last week and did not take it seriously. Everything manipulating your dreams. You can see that they are having experiences beginning from the dream. But then it is manifesting physically. I pray for someone here. Everything manipulating your dreams and visionary experiences to confuse you and open you up to vistas of this Destruction. I declare be free now be free now I sanctify your dreams in the name of Jesus Christ yes ma'am yeah but since then the hair refused to grow the hair refused to grow it refused I have I don't even sleep I pray almost. I'm not sure I'm hearing her well Hold I on. pray and pray and pray and pray and what pray. do you mean the hair refused to grow there's nothing there. I'm bald around here, but I, normally I, I have really thick, long hair. But they shaved it all around like that. And I don't see how a woman can be bald on top. Oh I, my I God. Around this. And then things started moving in my body. And then things started changing. My, my um, favors started going away. I would yes. go to work and people would turn against me. I would be nice to people and they would Th turn against me. That's all right, man. I'm going to pray for you. Thank God you came for the miracle service. I pray for you. The US. She, she came from the U.S. Yes, sir. My God. You see, whether you are in America, whether you are in London, once it is altars, they will fish you there and accept the power. The Bible says that except one greater than he comes to bind the strong man. Look at Mama all the way from U.S. Look at this kind of evil on this woman. If the hair of Samson grew back, then I decree and declare in the name of Jesus. Madam, please believe what I'm telling you. In the name of Jesus Christ, between now and the next three months, we declare supernaturally, let your hair grow back. And all these doors of favor that have been closed, I declare in Jesus' name, let it be open for you. We declare that as you return back to U.S., it will be strange testimonies. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Yes, sir. All right, sir. So, sir, for four years, she for 17 years, you spoke about, you know, people lactating and God healing them. Praise the Lord. Well, I'm here to testify to the goodness of God because I've been lactating for more than four years. I went to the hospital and they checked me and they said um, it's normal, but I know it's not normal because I'm not pregnant, there's nothing wrong with me. So when they were praying, I could not even wait for the prayers to finish. I ran to the restroom, I made sure I used the energy in me to press and nothing came out. <laughs> Four years. How about you, my dear? Yes, um, for 17 years I've had this issue, but it became more obvious after my surgery. My right ovary was taken in 2019, taken out. You had so, a surgery? Yes, sir. Oh, my Ovarian God. Fist. So, I wake up soaked most times. Or if I press the breast, it comes out like it's a, a straight movement. So, after you pray, last year you prayed about it. And it stopped. Do but you have children? Had... No, sir. I'm not married. You're not married? No, sir. And yet the surgery, you're... Oh, my God. Can I pray for you? Do you believe God can give you brand new ovaries? <laughs> my dear, look at me. Do you believe in Jesus? You believe I will pray for you? Yes, sir. Place your hand there. Place it. You just do what I'm asking you to do. In the name of Jesus, we thank the doctors for doing their best. But right now, the same power that created the heavens and the earth I stretch my hands 
right now brand new ovaries agree with her brand new ovaries and i use as a point of contact to pray for anyone here trusting god for a creative miracle perhaps by surgery or whatever something has been taken from your body in the name of jesus weep not for the lord is giving you a brand new one let me tell you the truth in my lifetime i will tell you this if i'm joking you will know i'm joking i have seen someone who they performed a surgery they removed one of the bones and put metal god is my witness they put metal and the person was supposed to live with it like that and the person met me because he had a condition there's something the people feel i don't know if it's that during rainy season or when the weather is cold or something of that sort it will affect the person imagine like putting you know something that can absorb cold inside the person i was angry in my spirit i laid two of my hands not one two of my hands and cried to the god of heaven that person went back this is a miracle that happened many years ago the doctor was shocked i spoke with the doctor myself they did the x-ray they could not find any metal there again i know that jesus can create new organs and my dear i pray for you again don't cry you may not know what this means to her as a woman but in the name of jesus christ let there be a creative miracle now in jesus name i pray and for the dear one four years the lord perfects you in jesus name i pray yes please very quickly next apostle six months no menses i've been having menstrual complication and hormonal imbalance i can't even count my period but for six months now i've not seen it so i woke up with faith that will see it i even took a strap pad i wore pad so when i came you said we should go and check so immediately I, I just saw it i just saw my period can you imagine six months hormonal imbalance last year i had bleeding serious bleeding like i was giving birth like too much i was even scared of even my message to come so it sits for six months now bless your hand on your stomach father in the name of jesus we normalize everything in your body now Amen. it will function for you normally after the order of women Amen. every abnormality and complication will cause it now Amen. this miracle remains permanent for you Amen. in jesus name please return back celebrating yes please apostle you gave word of knowledge for difficulty in breathing and abdominal pain yes Three of them they were healed by the power of god let me hear yes yeah, for the past two weeks i've been dealing with shortness of breath and abdominal pain from the residue of an illness i've been battling but instantly the anointing came on me and i've been healed in the name of jesus it will never return to you again Since by the power of the holy spirit all three of you i decree and declare in jesus name let there be supernatural healing for you right now it will never return again in jesus name you gave word of knowledge of people that eat and throw back what they is now these are uh, i mean twins twin brother ruminates that is he eats then bring it back and then eat it again like rumi, ruminant animal for years so why you well, raise the prayer what, what do you mean eat and bring it brings it back where he will throw up you throw up no you eat like and ruminate you chew the cord you, like I what you are eating you bring it back let again. us speak no she's not the one he's her twin brother uh, let us still speak what happened to him the thing is that for more than 10 12 years now my twin brother when he eats he throws up back is that normal doctors no he has issues with his esophagus and his digestive system and they said the way we went for test almost 10 12 years ago they said that there's a tube there's there's a place in the system that is supposed to be small and it's open and the place that is supposed to be open is small and what happened now while you were praying I called him on the phone. Yes. I called him on WhatsApp to do video, but he was not going through. So I called him directly and I said, just be saying amen. They are calling your case. Just be saying amen. Right. And the more you, you kept on saying that, he, if, he, if they stand up at night, they can't sleep. My brother doesn't sleep. He will be up. His back will be What's on the his wall. name? Ken, they are like a suru. Ken, then in the name of Jesus, we use your sister as a point yeah, of contact. Ken Abuja at, at Guarimpa. He's in Guarimpa now. Yes. In Jesus' name, we perfect his condition. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. He's not a ruminant. In the name of Jesus, that, that demonic thing stops now. Amen. We normalize his organs in Jesus' name. Amen. And for you as a sister, you're standing. Do you have your own testimony? 
no, no, don't worry, I'll pray for you. In the name of Jesus, whatever it is that God has done, I seal it and I perfect it. In Jesus' name I pray. Yes. Amen. Yes, sir. All right. So, Apostle, you give a precise word of knowledge yes, sir. regarding a young man that is bleeding from his nose. Bleeding through your nose. Yes, yes, sir. I've been bleeding for more than 15 years, actually. It was um, one of the days I was playing while I was young. And um, I just bent my head and suddenly I saw blood. My God, I, there are was, so many testimonies. And okay, I was listen. like, I told my mom, my mom said, I should just pray. So that it happened even this morning while I was coming to church. I was uh, what happened to you church. now? I felt that same sensation that the blood is going to come out. I was ashamed. So I was just checking it a little bit and found out that there is no blood. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ, may it never reoccur again Amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Then, Apostle, I want Minister Kenny to read a profound testimony. You mentioned PID, something regarding PID. And now we have a testimony online. Daddy, we have amazing testimonies okay. online. We have someone from Kaduna got healed of PID. Daddy mentioned her case and she got healed instantly. We have someone else from Spain got healed of allergy. Whatever he eats, he throws up. He went to eat and has not thrown up since. We have another woman from Benin. Mm. Apostle mentioned that there is someone with difficulty in swallowing, like the throat is blocked. Yes. I keyed into it, she says, and kneeled in front of the television. And let, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Just pause a moment, Kenny. Do you know, no matter where you are across the globe, we thank God for the privilege of technology, provided you can connect by faith. You see that in a moment, the same thing God is doing here. It's possible that you can even be here and not receive. And someone can be at the ends of the earth. It's about your connection by faith. Yes, sir. And Apostle said that there is another person with the same case watching. Immediately he rebukes the condition. I started belching I, and I went to spit. The Holy Spirit directed me to drink water and the anointing oil. I am healed. Completely. We have someone from Rwanda. Apostle wow. mentioned her case of breast pain. She got healed instantly. We have one more person and we've not yet been able to ascertain his location. But he says he has balls all over his body for a long time. Boils. And it's, yes. And immediately you mentioned that case. He says, balls moving from one part of my lap to another, disappearing seasonally. And as apostle ministered, instantly, I can see them, I cannot see them again. They all disappeared. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amazing. Yes, please. Four years arthritis healed. Arthritis? Pain, yes. Pain Mama, in her leg. Mama, how long has that been? Since 2018. 2018. 2018. Yes. What happened to you? I've been having pains. I went for my younger brother's uh, wedding. After the tradition, on Sunday for us to come and give testimony, my two legs started pending me. I can't even walk. I, when I tell them he carry stick, my husband will shout, how can you use stick and be walking? Yes, Actually, what happened to you now, ma? But now as we are praying for your try, it depends. I w- I, if it is the time that it was pending yes. me, I wouldn't have been standing for a, a long time here. Yeah. But now, move your legs, mama. Any pain? No pain. Any pain? Are you seeing what Jesus is doing? In the name of Jesus, you are free and free forever by the power of the Holy Spirit. You gave word of knowledge of a woman who wakes up in the night and will not be able to sleep again. Yes, ma. The power of God touched her when you gave that word of knowledge and she fell under the anointing and she's healed now. Right now, completely. This, this is a son here to testify. This is the son. Yes. What happened to mama? Um, she has not been able to sleep, uh, especially since uh, last year when we lost our sister. And um, oh my well, God. I brought her to Abuja to stay with me for a while. Okay. And um, I noticed that trend. I oh, she's not been able God. to sleep. No, she was she was built to go back, but she said no that she's going to stay for this miracle service. Let and me when... encourage you. Listen, let me use this opportunity and encourage you. You see, there are times, humanly speaking. There are certain kinds of losses, especially of people you love, that when it happens, it can wreck your whole life. At that point, no human can counsel you in a way that comforts. At such point, you have to tap into the ministry of the Holy Spirit called the Comforter. 
Men can comfort, but there is one called the comforter. He can minister to you in a way that no man can. You can see her only, it's not just a medical condition. You lost your daughter, mama. So you can see. That's the pain of a mother. It's going to take a long time. But the Holy Spirit can come as a comforter. And I use mama to pray for everyone who has been bereaved. I want you to receive by faith now. You've been bereaved within the last one year. Especially that you are struggling. You don't know how to just... You have been asking questions. This is still a miracle service. In the name of Jesus, I use our mother here as a point of contact. To pray for everyone here who has lost a loved one mother father brother siblings parents we stand as the church of the lord jesus christ and we declare that the holy spirit ministers to you in the name of jesus christ now i will tell you why i'm praying for you help that woman i will tell you something that you need to learn there is a spirit called the spirit of grief it only comes to you when negative things happen like losses it will steal into your emotion when the spirit of grief comes it will destroy you in a way that you cannot imagine it's good to mourn but there is a spirit called grief i learned this from pastor kenneth copeland i heard him teach about the spirit of grief Now you can never, you may never, we, we cannot imagine what it takes by the privilege of the work that I do as a man of God. Um, you know, when people lose their loved ones, I'm usually about the first to know. And so whether or not I'm directly related to the people, no matter how hard you are as a man of God, sometimes you just have to be strong for their sake, but you will still feel it because you are human. But I have seen the spirit of grief slip through these moments and remain with people and families and destroy them i know people who resigned from their workplace resigned from everything and said you know what i know people who committed suicide have you heard of such things after they lost loved ones they went to kill themselves that one is no longer mourning is the spirit of grief mama i use you as a point of contact in the name of jesus may the god of heaven by his spirit comfort you and i declare anyone here suffering from the spirit of grief as a result of the loss of a loved one be delivered from it now in jesus name i pray amen and amen yes one year i tried to heal confirmed by the medical doctors one year i tried to heal which, which of the which of the legs left or right hepatitis hepatitis, hepatitis. oh hepatitis yes, gone. gone in the name of jesus i declare supernatural healing both of them no she put to bed 2018 and then her body has not been in a normal shape you get she bed. could not yes she could not stand for a very long time but when you mentioned that case, she fell under the anointing and then she's been standing completely completely healed in the name of her jesus body christ it will never return to you again my dear all of you who are standing you are healed right now in jesus name yes sir so apostle his first time here in koinonia you're welcome just most welcome Yenugua, and yes god visited him hallelujah good evening apostle how are you over two months ago i had a, i just woke up and i had a pain in my private part and i had bruises all over i prayed over it it went two two weeks after i came back severely this is my first time here and i was upstairs i was praying as we were praying along the power of god hit me and the pain stopped i was just it's my first time i didn't know the protocol how to run out here to come and give the testimony i just came to just say jesus i think in the name of jesus that demonic thing will never return to you again in jesus name i pray yes please praise god very quickly let's let's see if we can reduce a few of these lines last and then we'll month, just pray last general. month i was here with uh ulcer symptoms ulcer yes okay what happened to you now so when i went back home i went to run a test and it was not the, even here last month uh, in, in the night they tested me i was not having the ulcer but i was still having this symptom in the name of jesus i declare you are supernaturally healed by the power of the holy spirit yeah. yes please next person I felt the same ulcer two days ago. So when I, before I came here, I didn't feel it. But You've been healed of ulcer in Jesus' name. Let it never return to you again. Yes, sir. We need to hear this testimony. Yes, I've been, I've been interested. I've been looking at her. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I'm not too qualified to give this testimony. <laughs> so let me allow Dr. Come. Doctor, yes, please. Um, Daddy, this child has what they call juvenile diabetes. So it's just um, diabetes starting from an early doctors, age. Doctors, doctors, doctors. Okay, go ahead. 
Okay, so you find them having very high level of blood sugar. So as at this morning, they had about 20. About 20. That was the blood um, level, um, sugar level that okay. they recorded this morning. So, 20? Um, yes. How old is she? 12, 12 years. years. So usually they take, um, there's this drug, they take insulin just to help maintain the yes. sugar level. So after the prayers and all, he believed, trusted God, and then they went to the medical stand, and then they checked the sugar level, and it was 3.3. <laughs> From 20, a 12, listen, if Satan does not spare a little girl like this, 12 year old, 20, my dear, how are you? Fine. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray for this, our little one, it will never go beyond normal again in Jesus' name. And in the name of Jesus, I declare, you grow normally, you are healthy in Jesus' name. Let's celebrate Jesus. God bless you. Yes, please. Well, so, Apostle, well, this is not directly related to healing, but yes. quite interesting. Um, you know, the people you called out and prayed for. Okay. Just praying for them, sir. Her dad has been calling her. She will, she will explain. Father, you mentioned um, my father has done diabolical things. You mentioned my father has done things with innocent people's blood. And my father, immediately I came out, my father started calling me. My he started father, calling you? He started calling me. Immediately I came out. He started calling me. Immediately I came out. Oh, both of you, you are sisters. Yes. Where are you from? Kogi State. He started calling you that. What happened? Uh, we haven't picked up the call because we know that he wants us to come back home. What do we do to these things? Now? <laughs> Listen, dear ones, look at me. You believe in Jesus Christ? Don't be afraid. Are you Muslims? You are Christians. Don't be afraid. Um, let me tell you something. There is no weapon that is fashioned against you. You see, it's very difficult to do whatever you want to do because this is your father. I declare that no charm and no enchantment of darkness against you will strive. See, it's very difficult when the person who the devil is using is related to you. It's easy to shout and kill any other person who is not a relative, who is any other person. But now, this is, this is, this is your own father. They love their father. Don't cry. Can we pray that God will save that man? That is a scriptural approach to these kinds of things. God is able to save unto the uttermost. Don't you think because he's involved in diabolic things, God cannot save him? Ask Saul, who became Paul. Father, we agree as a church. Right now, arrest and visit the Father. Arrest and visit the Father. We pray for his salvation. And in the name of Jesus, we pray that he is preserved. And as for you, I use you as a point of contact to your siblings. And I declare you are preserved supernaturally. In Jesus' name. Please go in peace. Do not fear. In Jesus' name. Apostle, another case of rumination here. Regurgitation. Okay. Since when she was a teenager, she has had that challenge. She will eat. It will come out. Then take it back again. But Is that true? When you mentioned that case, the power of God came on her. So she went to drink water. And, then and it's gone. It's gone. Secondly, a woman visited me 29th of January that I meant to serve a uh, water. A woman? A woman. She okay. has been calling me since last year. The and woman has been calling you? Yes. Physically or spiritually? Physically. That I'm, I'm meant to serve water. So, Where are you day, from? I'm, I'm from Enugu State. And my father who was so diabolic that two of my sister's husband have died. One is a pastor that just passed on August last year. So she came to 20, to, uh, this 20, uh, 22 yes. and said that I have to serve Shirai, that I should leave church. I told her, no, that I'm called to serve God, not to serve Shirai. So when she left, I saw a casket on my bed. And the woman is late? No, the woman left, but I was seeing a vision of a casket when she left my room. So, and I started having a kind of, my head was as if I was bleeding. So things I don't kill, but anybody that made a casket for you must enter inside it. In the name of Jesus Christ, let me say it again. Anybody that makes a casket for you, 
I decree and declare what happened to Haman the same way he built a, a gallow to defeat Mordecai in the name of Jesus I say it again anybody conspiring with darkness on account of your case they will, they will, they will get into their own destruction And in Jesus' name, prophetically, we warn that woman, whoever she is. In the name of Jesus, if she will not let you go, she will follow the way of her man for sure. In Jesus' name. Listen, you are a believer. Don't let anybody threaten you. This is a world that is full of people who will take advantage. They will prey on your ignorance. Are we together? Nobody, even Jesus Christ, gave us room to choose him or any other thing don't let anybody force you and say you must worship this it's demonic i said before you life and death blessing and cursing he tells you to choose hallelujah okay yes, all right sir. sir so we have very interesting testimonies here he was here let's, last let's year. take two okay well Please, can, um, we just, can, can i are this all of these testimonies yes now here's what will happen um, I, I want to be encouraging all those who come out It takes a lot of courage to come out and testify And sometimes because we are constrained by time Here's what I want you to do from now on Ushers or PR, whoever When people come out like this to testify If they don't have a chance to testify What happens is that Give them a chance to register their names So that by next Sunday we can start with them to testify. There are so many people to testify, and because of time, we'll just pick a few. So I think PR or ushers, those responsible, can do that. We, when people come out and stand and they are not given a chance to testify, they become discouraged another time. Are we together? If, if this were a, a vigil, for instance, we'll have enough time, and then we have to do some other things and finish on time because there are people who stay very far. This is what is uh, at the back of our rushing so many things. Generally, a miracle service like this, when you are dealing with issues, you will need quite some time to really deal with matters in people's lives. I'm sure one of these days, God will grant us grace to do a vigil. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where we would take out time and really, really address issues in people's lives. In Jesus' name. But for some of you who may not be allowed to testify, please don't, don't feel bad. Um, make sure that we'll give you room next week. You come, um, we can start just squeezing to the service so that we give more time for testimonies and have them come to testify. But let's take maybe two or three so that we can finish um, right. Because I want to speak over your life Remember the four things we spoke about Even before we pray over those requests It must happen in your life The spiritual progress must happen The financial breakthroughs Are they here for testimonies? If they are here for testimonies Just collect their testimonies Mama is here for testimonies What happened to you mama? Oh dear Hallelujah Have you, have you vetted her? Okay, Mama, straight to the point, eh? God bless you. Um, technical help us, please. I'm among the uh, people that you said uh, something is moving all over their body. Okay. So as we prayed, the something left It's me. gone. In Jesus' name, Mama, the fullness of your days you will fulfill. Amen. Amen and amen. God bless you. Yes, please. Okay, Apostle, so we have... Sorry, can we have the camera here? Just to... So he, he had a cast on his leg. Um, and Please show us. Can we see it? Is that possible? A cast. Last year. Last year he had a cast. And he was healed when he came here. And God followed up with another. Praise the Lord. My name is Farouk Danjuman. Last year when you started the Koinonia, I came here with crutches. And I told Oh, you myself, came here with crutches? Yes. What happened to you? And I said my next visit to Koinonia will be... I won't come with the crutches. Yes. And you prayed, and that was the end right of that crutches. You are completely then, free. Yes. Then this one happened again. You know, I was on a platform, and I was about to fall, and then by my side there was a snake. Then I screamed. That was a dream. A dream. So, and I. What, what happened now? We don't have all that time, I man. Just to the I point. What did the Lord Jesus leg. Christ? 
And the, this, this hand refused to go after taking so many. And right burial. now, and right now, yes, the Lord heals. We establish your authority over snakes and scorpions Amen. and all the powers of the enemy. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, you are Amen. perfected in Jesus' name. So, sir, Let's ten take years more ulcer then. healed. By the ulcer, power of God. ten years. In the asthma, name. Sorry, I beg your pardon. Asthma. asthma. Wow. Praise, praise. Sorry. This is the inhaler she uses. Okay. I was sitting right there, so I started feeling heavy pains. I started breathing very hard. So the next I took my inhaler, and whenever I take my inhaler, I don't, I don't stand up at all. Yes. It makes me weak. So you say we should put our faith in action. Yes. So I stood up. Mira, I stood up. I hold the chair. When I closed my eye, some people held my back. I did not know the people. Then I saw as if I vomit, like in a vision. I saw myself as if I vomited a lizard and ran out. Last, uh, when I was 12 years, when I went to my family compound, my parents, there was a night I came out very early in the morning, so I saw a lion. Hold on, let me pray for them before they move, eh? Please, just stand, let me pray for you. Yes, go ahead. So, I saw a lion very early in the morning, I never told anybody, because nobody would believe me. So, any time before the asthma come, I used to see this lion. So, it made I saw this, this lizard coming out of me, when I, I, I bent down, I saw the lizard coming. When I and you are completely down, healed now? Yes, Breathe I went in to and the out. restroom. Breathe in and out. Rest. When I climb the stairs, breathe in and out. When I climb the stairs, I'm That's alright, my dear. In the name of Jesus Christ, let's celebrate her. She's healed by the power of the Holy Ghost. It will never return to you again. In the name of Jesus. Now, supernaturally, oh dear, there's one more. Okay, let's take my green since when she was a child. My so green. My green. In they G- told her it's a pattern. But while you were praying, she fell under the anointing and then the migraine is Completely gone. Completely gone. Healed. Demonic patterns gone forever. In Jesus' name I pray. Let's take the last one. Well, similar pains here. They all have been healed of one pain. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for all of you who are standing by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Your healings remain permanent. Whether you came out to testify or not, every healing you have received tonight remains permanent. In Jesus' name I pray. Rise up on your feet. We are going to pray. We have just five minutes of prayer. Have you submitted your requests? Lift it up very quickly. Ushers. Now, here's what will happen. Ushers, let's walk. We'll keep reinventing ourselves in the miracle service to to conserve time. What will happen is for every miracle service... As soon as we come before praise and worship or afterwards, ushers just move around so that we submit the prayer request so that when it's time like this, we just have it um, quickly. We, we have a few, but then please lift it quickly. Pass it to the last person. Pass it to the last person at the, the left or right aisle, whichever. Don't worry, nobody will read your request. Begin to pray in the spirit while you are doing that. I want to pray for you right now. Along the four areas that God led us to pray today are you praying in the spirit for one minute and then I'll lead you through a declaration of faith let the redeemed of the Lord say so let the healed of the Lord say so the blessed of the Lord say so the lifted of the Lord say so The anointed of the Lord say so. The prosperous of the Lord say so. The healthy of the Lord say so. Please make sure you receive all the requests. Ushers, let's make it very fast. Those following online, you can bring out your prayer request and just keep it in front of you. Prophetically for those who are connecting online. If you've sent it, no problem, we have it and we're going to pray over it. But if you're in your home and you have your request, just place it prophetically. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, we're going to pray concerning our spiritual growth. Please listen. The Bible says, I wish above all things that ye prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospers. Remember, we are not just a place of breakthrough and miracles and liftings. We are primarily, primarily primarily a place that will help people encounter Jesus Christ and encounter the power of the Holy Spirit. If your spiritual life has gone down or is going down, your fervency for prayer, word study, the house of God, now is the time to pray. Grace is available to 
put you back in right and strong standing are you ready to pray some of you have stopped fasting the grace for it is completely not there anytime you say you want to fast from seven o'clock by ten it's as if you are going to die it is a demonic thing the human spirit even animals have capacity to endure anything that puts you in that state is the devil he's trying to destroy you lift your voice in one minute and pray over your spiritual life in the name of jesus christ as we step into the month of april i am praying over my spiritual life someone is praying passion for the word of god passion for prayer passion for the house of god the bible declares i was glad when they said unto me let us go to the house of the lord lift your voice and pray over your spiritual life the bible says grow in grace second peter chapter 3 and verse 18 grow in grace and in the knowledge of our lord jesus christ we can grow in grace and we can grow in the knowledge of our lord jesus christ i like you to declare that my spiritual life is coming alive my passion for the things of god my passion for the house of god my passion for prayer make sure you pray this is a major part of this meeting my passion for prayer my passion for the study of the word in the name of jesus my spiritual life is fan back to flames every lukewarmness but sliding everything that does not represent spiritual growth i drive it out of my life in the name of jesus christ number two we spoke about healing now listen when you study what paul wrote about the gifts of the spirit all of the other gifts you will find gift of gift of but when it comes to healing you will see that paul wrote the gifts of healing that means there are many dimensions to healing bodily healing is just one of the dimensions there is solical healing the healing of your mind for the bible says a broken spirit can dry the bones from the realm of the spirit and it can affect you are we together now he says say to those who are of a broken heart do not be afraid he will come and save you so you are going to pray for healing complete holistic healing for some of you maybe healing in your body you will still pray some of you god has begun the miracle it's there to be perfected you are going to pray for perfection of healing for some of you is your mind your emotions have been so wrecked by all the things that have happened in your life maybe pains maybe disappointments several things have happened in your mind and you need to be free you need to be completely healed there are others who are saying there are other aspects of my life I'm coming to finances but even finances you can receive healing in your finances the same way your body is sick your finances can be sick your career can be sick lift your voice and command healing go ahead go ahead and declare healing by the power of the Holy Spirit I declare healing healing of my body I declare healing healing of my mind I declare healing healing in my job I declare healing healing in my emotions is someone praying remember ye not the former things nor consider the things of old healing from disappointments healing from pain healing from betrayals healing from backstabbings healing from losses healing from bereavements go ahead and pray i decree and declare supernatural healing by the power of the holy spirit i'm tired of carrying a backlog of pain i declare that i'm healed finally by the power of the holy spirit the son has set me free i am free indeed the son has set me free i am free indeed in the name of jesus christ hallelujah third prayer i want you to pray this with aggression and pray this with vigor stagnation to be stagnated means to be kept in one place are we together yes stagnation is very dangerous because the bible says the path of a just is as a shining light that moves that shines brighter and brighter 
unto the perfect day you are going to decree and declare every force responsible for stagnation many of you what you are praying right now is what you wrote here i'd like you to pray stagnation in ministry stagnation in business stagnation in family stagnation over your career lift your voice and rebuke that spirit command advancement over your life command advancement are you praying you came for a miracle service inside outside command stagnation those in ministry pray in the name of jesus i do ministry with results i command the spirit of stagnation over my life stagnation in my career stagnation over my endeavors in the name of jesus i decree and declare i press i go forward i move forward in every area of my life i break forth from the left i break forth from the right i break forth above and below in the name of jesus i make constructive ever increasing progress ever increasing project progress i actualize destiny by the power of the holy spirit some of you may have experienced stagnation even in your structural establishment you begun a building it has refused to grow it has refused to be completed pray and rebuke that spirit in the name of jesus hallelujah finally look up please i want you to pray over your finances now let me say this we're wrapping up i don't know if you are interested in your financial well-being or not but as a man of god that god has placed over you i will not let you rest till you prosper it's not only knowing god you will know god you will love him with all your heart but i can tell you in advance if something is wrong with your finances you will suffer as if jesus did not die for you are we together i've seen fi financial issues finance is not everything but let me submit to you finance holds a major key in your well-being ask anybody who is sincere especially at this time now you know how much look at diesel 700 and something pm we really appreciate you for watching our videos like comment share and subscribe thank you